you touched on something I wanted to bring up there, which is the problems companies are typically looking to solve when they bring in a CFO. You touched on mergers and acquisitions there, that perhaps they're looking to access finance in the most beneficial way possible. They're looking to create the right company structure, but maybe that's not it. But what type of problems do you most commonly see lead a business to create the CFO role? We've got two, broadly speaking, two types of clients. Those that want to grow, they're got they're ambitious and they're quite savvy to know that they need to surround themselves with the right support and the right advice earlier rather than later. And then we've got those that didn't stop and consider that and they've grown and now they've got the classic growing pains or there might have been some sort of industry downturn or something else that's happened to the business and they're having hard times. And we happily work with either of those. I guess at the end of the day, we love to start with what does the, the owner want out of this business? Why did they get into it? And what does success look like for them personally and the business? Let's get them clear on how to get there as fast as possible in a sustainable way. So sometimes the problem we solve is helping them get clarity over their next phase and their strategy. Sometimes they've got the clarity, but the problem we solve is that we're a very experienced pair of hands that can help execute the strategy and bring it to life. Some of that, as you alluded to, could be around mergers and acquisitions, or it could be just funding in general to fuel their expanding product or service lines. We certainly love to work in that space in terms of, I guess, first of all, getting them to understand what their current balance sheet is actually telling us, because a lot of managers and owners don't really understand the balance sheet of their business. They understand the profit and loss. So it's really getting them to understand the balance sheet, what it looks like at the moment, then putting some robust forecasts in place around whatever the plans are. Then we can really be clear on what the funding requirements are and the the best channel to pursue, whether it's debt and going to the bank or different banks or finance brokers, or whether it is more of an equity raise and looking at attracting investors in and that type of thing. The ones that have fallen on difficult times, the problems we solve there is about turning them around. So profit improvement is very much key. So profitability levels are not where they should be. Uh, That's leading to then, at least in part, to severe cash flow shortages. And rather than just simply asking the bank, for instance, for more money, it's about what's in the balance sheet that shouldn't be there that can actually be transformed into cash uh, in the first place. Or in regards to profitability, which products or services are making money for them, which ones are barely breaking even, and which ones are actually loss makers. And even just with that simple analysis that we love to do, it's amazing the decisions that flow for the business from that sort of analysis. So it's really giving information for clarity and for good decision making, whether that's growth, turnaround, Even if they've got plans to exit or pass the business down to the next generation, we help get the roadmap in place. Tell them the things that they need to know, not just the nice stuff. Sometimes it can be quite the difficult stuff that needs to be said, Um, but also just playing that sort of, I guess, support function so they've got a shoulder to lean on because it can be quite lonely out there, quite stressful. So ultimately we love to take a few balls out of the air for, for them and take them on ourselves and build that trusted partnership with them. Someone who's got their back and more time for them to spend on the things they should be, hopefully more money in their pocket, less stress and satisfaction of hitting whatever big goals they've got for themselves and the business.